so hello guys and welcome to my channel today again i am back with another important numericals on power plant designs so you can see you can see a uh, numericals on the screen and this numerical was once asked in 2019 fall and here you can see the three six kva generators a b and c each of 10 percentage leakage reactants and emva rating is given as 40 50 and 25 respectively are interconnected electrically by a tie bar through current limiting reactors and each of 12 percentage reactors based on the machine to which it is connected and a three phase feeder is supplied from the bus bar of generator a at a line voltage of 6.6 .6 kilovolt and the feeder has a resistance of 0.06 ohm and the reactance of 0.12 ohm per phase and here we have to estimate the maximum EMV fed into symmetrical fault, fault current, breaking and making capacity of circuit breaker used at generator A. So here you can see a single line diagram and altogether three generator, generator used A, B and C and generator A has MV rating of 40 MV and its reactant is 10 percentage. Similarly for B it is 50 MV and its reactant is 10 percentage and similarly for generator C it is 25 MV and its reactants is 10 percentage and so here and again a feeder has a reactance of 0.06 here you can see a feeder is given and its uh, resistance is 0.06 and its reactance is 0.12 given here and in this question we have to estimate uh, we have to determine the maximum emv fed into the symmetrical fault and the fault current breaking and making capacity of the circuit breaker used at generator means at this generator generator a now Starting with the solution, first we need to choose the base MVA and as well as the base KVA. So here we will choose the base MVA as 50 MVA and the base kilovolt as 6.6 .6 kilovolt. Then base impedance will be Z base will be KVA square upon MVA and the base KVA is 6.6 .6 and similarly MVA is base MVA is 50. So 6.6 .6 square upon 50 will get 0 0.8712 ohm. So the impedance of feeder will be in per unit. 0.06 since the impedance is 0.06 plus this 0.12 given here and if we divide it by base impedance we will get the jet feeder in per unit it means 0 0.0688 plus 0 0.1376 now per unit impedance of generators so per unit impedance of generator a so we can see the reactance is minus 10 percent similarly for b it is also 10 percent as well as for c it is also 10 percent and its old EMV is 40 MV. Similarly, for B, its old is 50 MV, and for C, the base MV is 25 MV. It means these are the old MV, and we have assumed the new base MV as a 50 50 MV. So reactance 10 percent, so 0 0.1 into a new upon a old MV, so we'll get 0 0.125. Similarly, for a generator B means XBG 0 0.1 into again new is 50 and old is again 50 here so it will we'll get here 0 J 0 0.1 and for generator C per unit evidence of generator C will be 0 0.1 into base uh, means a new MV upon old MV new MV is 50 and old is 25 so we'll get here J 0 0.2 similarly per unit impedance of reactors so for reactors here you can see the reactor of 12 percent is 12 percent is and again 12 percent is given so from here per unit impedance of reactor will be 0 0.12 into and for a the we can, we have assumed 50 mv as a new base mv and it's for generator a old mv is 40 so 50 upon 40 will get here just 0 0.15 similarly for xb 0 0.12 into uh, new upon old mv so we will get 0 0.12 similarly for C is 0 0.12 into old, new is 50 and old is 25 so J is 0 0.24 now assuming a zero pre-fault current that is no load current that is no load pre-fault conditions and here our reactance diagram will be will look something like this so on substituting all the values our reactance diagram will look like this so from here you can see this J0.1 and J0.12 these two will be in a series similarly J0.2 and J0.24 will be in series 
so if you add this and this value you will get here 0 j 0.22 similarly j 0.2 and j 0.24 on addition will get here j 0.44 and from here if you consider x a x a a dash means equivalent impedance from here to here means x a, a from a point to a dash point so you can see this and this will be in parallel so j 0.44 into j 0.22 upon j 0.44 plus j 0.22 will get here j 0.0638 so the parallel combination of this gives j 0.0638 now so in place of these two value we will write here j 0.0638 so here we will write j 0.0638 now here you can see now this value and this value will be in series right now so on addition we will get here j 0.2138 and now here assume this point as b and this is b dash and this is our point c so from x b b dash from b to b dash so again we can see this value and this value will be in parallel so on parallel combination will get j0.0788 per unit and from b to c similarly from b to c since these two are in parallel and a parallel combination gives here this value and now if you consider from b to c means we will add 0.0688 plus j0.1376 plus parallel combination of this value means uh, this is the parallel combination this is 0.0788 so if you add this 0.0788 we will get xbc from b to means from this the b point to c point so xbc will be 0 0.2271 and its angle will be 72.37 degree now mva here to the fold will be mva base upon xbc mva base is 50 mva we have assumed and again xbc we have just calculated value as 0 0.2271 so 50 upon 0 0.2271 will get 220 mva and again Fault current at the fault location will be 1 angle 0 upon XBC and 1 angle 0 upon XBC we have obtained 0 0.2271 and its angle is 72.37 so we will get here 4.4 per unit now I base will be 50 MVA upon root 3 into 6 kilo volt I mean 6.6 .6 kilo volt is given in the questions so 50 into 10 to power 6 we have uh, since 50 MVA is our new, uh, new uh, MVA and 6.6 .6 is our new kilo volt means new kilo yes new kilo volt so 50 into 10 power 6 upon root 3 into 6.6 .6 into 10 power 3 so we'll get here 4375 ampere now actual current in order to calculate the actual current we will multiply this fault current at the location means if in per unit into this base current so 4.4 .4, here we have obtained 4.4 .4, and this is our 4375 so 4.4 4 into 4375 gives 19.225 kilo amperes now for breaking and making capacity of circuit breakers and here you can see in the question we have to estimate the maximum may be into symmetrical fault fault current breaking fault current breaking and making capacity of circuit breaker used at generator a means at generator a means these generators so we will consider the generator a here so here we will consider circuit breaker at this unit and we have obtained the value of IF and IF is equal to 4.44 per unit in terms of per unit we have obtained here the value of IF as 4.44 per unit and the fault current at circuit breaker A location will be IF in per unit into J0.213 now we can see this value and again this value are in sorry for fault current at circuit breaker A location means at circuit breaker A location, we will we are calculating the fault current at this at this location. Sir. So it will be IF into power unit into this value means 0 0.2138 upon uh, upon 0 0.125 plus 0 0.2135 means here we are using current divider rule. So on calculation we will get the value as 2.776 per unit. Now required breaking current capacity of circuit breaker A will be 2.776 into 4375 is the base current we have obtained. This I base. 
सो ऑन सोल विल गेट ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन टू फोर फाइव किलो एमपियर एज अ ब्रेकिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ सर्किट ब्रेकर है नाउ फॉर मेकिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ सर्किट ब्रेकर जस्ट वी नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई दी से ब्रेकिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ सर्किट ब्रेकर विद टू पॉइंट फाइव फाइव सो टू पॉइंट फाइव फाइव इंटू ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन फोर टू फाइव गेट्स थर्टी पॉइंट नाइन फाइव किलो एमपियर से सो इन दिस वे यू कैन कैलकुलेट सो टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम से होप यू एंजॉय द लेक्चर थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एंड प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल थैंक यू